Hey there, Wolfpack. I'm meteorologist Jessica Suggs of the NCSU Weather Center. Hopefully you enjoyed the beautiful day that we had yesterday, and more of that beautiful weather is to come. As you see, off to our east, those clouds that brought through those rain showers yesterday morning and the clouds throughout the day yesterday have really pushed off to our east, leaving behind it really clear skies, which we're going to see all day today, which is going to make for a great walk to class. However, if you do have those early 8 a.m. classes, Make sure you do bring a light jacket with you as temperatures will be in the upper 30s, low 40s. However, by the time that we get into lunchtime and around our afternoon classes starting around 3, you don't need that jacket anymore because it's going to warm up to about 67. It's going to be much nicer than the rain that we saw over the weekend and the rain yesterday. Today, if you take a look at the surface map, you see that cold front that came through with all that rain over the weekend is really pushed off to our east, bringing behind it this high pressure system. High pressure is associated with sinking air, which keeps the clouds at bay and allows for clear skies throughout the day and in the entire area. If you want to get out and support our Wolfpack baseball tonight, their game is at 6 o'clock. And by the time you get to the first pitch, it will be sunny and 68. However, by the time you get out of the game after the bottom of the ninth, it will cool off to about 59 degrees, but not too much. This should be a great day to go out and support Wolfpack, Wolfpack athletics, especially now that our basketball team is unfortunately no longer playing. As we go into the overnight tonight, we will cool down to about 44 degrees. We'll have clear skies, so all of the heating that occurred during the day is just going to go right back up into the atmosphere, keeping it relatively cool. So do carry a jacket with you if you're going to be out late walking to the library or studying. Tomorrow, however, you can see we don't have any really any precipitation in the area. However, we do want to keep an eye on this cold front up to our north northwest as it will be pushing through later on this week, bringing with it a chance of rain. For tomorrow, we stick with the sunny skies and the warm temperatures with a high of 65 degrees is going to be great. So make sure to get outside, you know, go for a jog if you're into exercising or just get outside and enjoy the sunshine while you can. As we take a look at the week at Sorry. If you take a look at the week ahead, you'll see today we do have the, a high temperature of 71. We'll get into that this afternoon. Tomorrow, April Fool's Day, you will see that the temperatures are a bit cooler at 65, so make sure you wear your best practical joke outfit. And if you can, try to trick your teachers out of giving you an exam. So going through the latter half of the week, we do warm back up into the 70s. Friday is when that cold front begins to push through our area, bringing us that chance of rain and the warmer temperatures ahead of it. Once it's moved through Saturday to start our weekend, it's going to be beautiful with sunny skies and low highs in the upper 60s. Thanks for watching. I'm Jessica Suggs. Go Pack!